Well, Emancipation Park has a very interesting history in that it came into being uh, in 1872, which was just a few short years after the uh, slaves were freed in Texas. But because there was a delay in the state of Texas of deciding to comply with the law, Juneteenth became the day of freedom for those persons who were enslaved in Texas and surrounding areas. And so that became also the day of celebration. And that was the impetus for uh, people having a recreation, a place to go and celebrate Juneteenth. What's so interesting is that I'm from the city of Chicago. I'm from northern states where we don't have um, this rich history like embedded into our city. And I moved here and I realized that the largest ex slave settlement in the entire United States is here in Houston. And I thought, oh my God, how do we tell that story? How do we make it? Um, how do we make it accurate and still make it entertaining? And so I set out to write this play that would inform people and get them as excited as I was about this land and legacy. What I've learned since being in the first production of the play was that Emancipation Park and the whole third and fourth ward, fourth ward community is more than just um, houses that have been run down and gentrification. It's people who have stories and hearts and messages that need to be told and given out to more people. In All By Getting, the forgotten story of Freedmanstown is this story of resiliency. It's a story of innovation. It's a story um, about the positive residual effects of slavery, if we can say that there are. And we have this unlikely community that forms out of despair. And it turns into this group of nurses and doctors and lawyers, um, something that Houston should really be proud of. Well, I think it's important to know that the community came together and the community worked together in order to bring us a park, a place where we could go for recreation. And to think that even though we were a people that had just been released from being in bondage and in slavery, we knew and understood how to get things done and how to work together. And in order to have the park, we knew that we had to work together as a community. And so therefore, it's important for us to remember that today and that in order to get things done again, we have to work together as a community. For me, the significance of emancipation, I mean, it's already embedded in me for being from Houston, but also it just helps me out knowing my culture better and knowing the people who helped raise up my city and being African-American. So in all thy getting comes from Proverbs 4-7. And Proverbs 4-7 says, in all thy getting, get an understanding. And so we have so many African Americans in this city who are thriving and they have all of these literal gettings. What we're celebrating is getting an actual understanding of history and being proud of that history. So we're saying, come on out to Emancipation Park Conservancy and get an understanding of your history. See you on Juneteenth.